Bam Entertainment. Uh huh. All that, man. We don't play. Uh uh. Yeah. One, two, one, two. It's a Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Great to be here. Hope everybody feeling like a million bucks. Because you know I am. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, you know how it go. We feel we, we feel the way we look. So you know what? Try to look good so you can feel good. You know what I'm saying? Every day is a better day. Let's keep it going. You know what I'm saying? We are who we are and we are blessed. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to kick the show off that way. And um, it's all about the positivity. We're going to keep it moving. Glad to be here. I'm glad y'all are rolling with me. By any means necessary, holla at me. This is what it is. One, two, one, two. So, <clears throat> we pulling in, pulling in the scene, and we're going to be talking about relationships today. You know what I mean? And um, first, I want to say... Big up to everybody that's up in here. Number one, foremost, Sandra. Hey. All right. What's going on, young lady? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling like a million bucks, too. Okay. You looking more than that, though. I'm going to tell you that. Thank you kindly. Yeah, yeah. Big Rob's in the building. How you feeling, man? All right, all right. He's very busy over there engineering, you know what I'm saying? Um... It's a possibility we might have a surprise guest up in here today. I'm going to see how that worked, you know. But um, <clears throat> it's going to get a little hot today. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to get a little crazy. <laughs> um, it's going to get a little crazy. And we're going to be real with it. Um. So what we're going to do, we're going to have Lance up in the building. He's not going to be in the building, but we're going to get him um, on FaceTime. We're going to get him so he could be live and direct with everybody so y'all could see him, y'all could feel him. You know what I'm saying? And he's just going to give it 100. He's going to be 100% with everybody. And you know me, I'm going to be 100% with everybody like I do every day, all day. Um, some of the things that you hear is gonna be um, it's not gonna be necessarily real pretty, you know, but it's gonna be real. And when I say real, what I mean by that is gonna be this is just what happens, you know. This is how. This is the reality of life today, in today's society. This is what happens, you know. Um, there's nobody perfect. Um, everybody have their imperfections, you know what I'm saying? And we are gonna get to these imperfections, cause um, I tell you, I got a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot. Um, but as time goes on, it gets better and better. It's like fine wine, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So. I look at it like this. Um I got I got some weaknesses and um one of them is um you know, hot woman. You know, it's um it's it's real. So, I mean, I look at it like I don't drink. You know what I'm saying? And I don't smoke. But I love women. <laughs> uh, so basically, we're going to talk about it. Um, and um, we're going to keep it real. I'm going to need a lot of feedback from everybody out there. I'd appreciate a lot of feedback um, because it's going to get real. And... Um, Whatever questions y'all have to ask, please ask. And um, we're going to sum it up, like, at the end of the show to where we understand that 
what's healthy and what's not healthy. And based on the things that's not healthy, we gonna try to let the kids stay away from that end of the, that end of the stick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And, um, you know, some of the healthy stuff, you know, that's what they should roll with. But we're going to go with the reality of it. What happened or what's happening. And, you know, we talk about it. And I'm going to keep it real. And, you know, when you guys got comments, you know, keep your comments 100% too. Because that's what make it real interesting. Right, Sandra? That's right. We got Jimmy on the check-in. Holla at me. We live. Hey, yeah. King, Judith, Cabbage Stalk. Okay. Gene, well, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy and Heather say the background is fire. Yeah, good looking on that. I appreciate I ain't. I didn't think y'all noticed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I really didn't think y'all noticed, but thank you, thank you. I, I, I'm feeling it, too. Um, yeah, definitely feeling it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, good looking on that. Good looking on that. Um, so, you know, I, I, I hope, I hope y'all ready to talk really relationship. You know what I'm saying? Really to dig in. Uh, cause, um, <laughs> this is going to be, this is going to be fire. So we going to dig in. Um, Sandra, what, what, what's what's your thoughts? Um, before we like kick it off and um, really get deep into it, um, what 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 any like? Are you an expert at relationships? I am definitely not an expert. Okay, okay. Um, Is there such a thing? Some people they I, I think Rob, are, are you an expert? Oh, he, well, he said no too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I think I, you're the only expert in the room. Well, no, nah, I'm far. I'm far from an nah, expert. <laughs> I think you might be. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you one thing, though. <laughs> I got some experience. I don't know if they're good or bad, but these experiences, uh, everybody could learn from them. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know, Sandra. Maybe you could um share a couple of your experiences too. You know. I'm, I'm not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, you know, we prepping it up and it's warming up and um we're gonna make sure it stays nice and warm, nice and hot. Um, like I said, you guys have any comments, feel free, throw them out there because um as we go on, we gonna um we actually gonna get to some deep topics, some very important topics. And um, the reason the reason why I feel like this is important is because, you know, a woman could actually make you strong. You know, well, they can't, I don't think they can make you strong. They could strengthen you. They could increase your strength. You agree with that? I agree. Okay, okay. Because I, I want you to chime in whenever you can because uh, you, some of these things that I'm going to be saying, you might, I think you're going to disagree with a lot of these things. Um, so, you know, females, they could make you real strong. They could enhance your power. You know what I'm saying? And um, they could also be like your kryptonite. You know, so... We're going to talk about these things, and uh, we're going to keep it real about it. And vice versa, though. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, when, when I say woman, I'm, I mean, it, it goes both ways. You know, I'm not really just saying females only. I'm just saying females because that's what relates to me. You know, but we're talking men and women. But the thing about it, too... Uh, a lady cannot do what a man do and call herself a lady. That's that's one of the first things that I'ma say. Um, a, a lady, it's not about what you do, it's how you do it. You know, so a lot of times a lady can not do 
what a man could do. It's just it's just the reality of it. Um, because a lot of times as a young man, you have you know several different females. It's a celebration. It's like saying, "Hey, you the man." You understand what I'm saying? And um, on the flip side of that, when a female does the same thing, it's like <clears throat> just doesn't work out. You know what I'm saying? So I see you smirking over there. Like I say, you got to punch in anytime you want to. Um, it's um, I, I give you an example, you know, and in the book, once you guys read the book, it's going to be in more details. And I'm going to I'm gonna be jumping back and forth, but I want you all to chime in at any time. And, you know, I want you all to feel me on it, you know? So Judith says, why not? I think she's referring to why can't a woman have multiple. Okay, okay. Well, here's the thing. You know, when a, when a female does that, and um thank you for your for your comment judy <laughs> when a woman does what a man does it's like if a female is doing it like i give you give you an example um when i was younger um me and my man jimmy you know we um we used to have some episodes where we go to the club and the thing was to go home with a female or, you know, at that time, we, we didn't even want to take them to no hotel or nothing. We would bring them home, do what we do with them, and, you know, next night, next female, and that's how it went. That was the, that was the game. That was, that was my high. So at that point, a lot, of, a lot of people, they would be smoking and drinking. At that point, what I was doing is just... Um, females that was my thing that was that was my high that's what that's what gave gave me that excitement <laughs> you know what i'm saying it made me feel you know that was our thing and, you know we used to roll and it was like competition and for a female to do that like different different men you know it's it's just not Society don't look at it the same, you know what I mean? That's true. Yeah, so so I say that's the difference when it comes down to the male and the female because I could have sex with a, over 100 women and um, a female, when she does that, she, you know... She's labeled. Right. Mm -hmm. But now for me, it's like, oh, man, yo, you the man, yeah. You know, that's that's just what it is. That's the reality. Well, Jimmy says uh, we can't have double standards, and then he uh, also says we were super high with the little emoji with the shades on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's what made us high. That's what that. Listen, if we got a number, the next goal was to get them in the bed. We talked to them a couple of times, and you know we had to close the deal the deal was just that you know it is it, it, just that was the reality of it and my thing was is that I had to get as much practice as I can so it was like it was like training you know it's like it was like bodybuilding you know the more you work out the bigger your muscle get so you know we was working out because we wanted to make sure that Ultimately, you know, when we go and we get married, then we good for the wifey. You know what I'm saying? Wifey was good. So a female, on the other hand, you know, wifey, we got to train them on how we want them. Or, you know, we, we get them right. So the experience is a must. That's the way I looked at it before. Now, if y'all, if, <laughs> listen that's the reality of it the more females was the better and that was our drug that was the drug that was the alcohol you know that's that was the high so 
Um, what's your thoughts on that, Sandra? As a female, um, w- w- what's your thoughts on that? Well, I don't have many thoughts on it. Um, I do think that at that point, it was age appropriate. You know, this is what young men do. Okay. They explore. You know, they right. entertain as many women as they can, like you said, most of the time to gain experience so that they become good at, right. you know, uh, interacting with women. So I do think that it was uh, age appropriate, you know. Um, so that's as far as I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Let's talk about what Judith is saying. She thought you were saying before that women can't do what men do in general, but now she understands. Uh, Jimmy says we worked out a little too much. <laughs> and um, well, and I mean, Judith is is open in another category here, but um, she says, "What about lesbians that play male roles?" Um, I mean, it is what it is. It's it's all sex, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with sex. Um, sex is something that has to be expressed, and you know, for the for the you know for the same sex that do what they do. That's just what they do, you know. If they, if that's their high, that's their high. It's just is what it is. I don't think it's um, it's not for me. But if it's for you, you do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Rock out, by any means necessary. Whatever, however you got to get it, you get it. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, for me, at at that point, um, at that point, that's just what it what it was. It was competition. It was see how much we could get the more that we get the better we felt you know what i'm saying and we spoke about the experience and you know we spoke about how it was and we get a kick out of it you know so this was that that's what it is um but that was back in the days but even now as adults um things sometimes goes a little um a little on the awkward side you know what i mean awkward interesting word well yeah when we say awkward i mean i I give you an example you know um actually i'm gonna have to get um i guess he might be the expert um we're gonna get lance on the phone in um in a second and we gonna really um dig in to that awkward. Okay. You know, we, we'll be able to kind of get to that awkwardness and see what it is on some real note. Okay. Well, Jimmy says that in society now things are different, and um, he was replying to Judith that uh, lesbians can't play a male role point blank well <laughs> look the thing about it is we we don't know what floats their boat you know what I'm saying so we could do what we could do but if uh, uh, you know if a female if see I think when you get good is when you know what your partner desire like what they what they like you know what I'm saying? So if you know that they like a certain way or a certain touch or a certain whatever, that's what you're going to give to them. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So male, female, I think with the females, I don't really know. Any, um, let's see if we got any uh, lesbian listeners that could um, talk about that, that could give us some insights on that. Um, do you have any insights on that? I don't I don't know much about that part of things. But let, let me ask you a question because what I realize is females, females normally um experiment with other females. It's a, it's totally different from males. Males uh, is, is either you you you're doing that or you're not. You know what I'm saying? So if you that's not your cup of tea, you don't mess with it. But females on the other hand, they normally play with each other. And you know, I mean a lot of playing. So how? what's your thoughts on that? Because um, I'm going to give you my thoughts on it, but <laughs> Jimmy says, King, don't do it. And then, uh, <laughs> and 
And then Judas <laughs> says that, um, I understand I have a lesbian friend that deals with a lot of women, so I feel like women can do the same. Jimmy, you tell me why not. So they're kind of okay uh, conversing back and forth. But All in right. answer to your question, um, you said most women, you think? Uh, yeah, about um, 99%. I would I would say that maybe your facts are a little wrong with that. Um, I would say yeah. wait, hold on. I would just say that um like Jimmy said in society things are different now. So mm -hmm. I think that you would find it more openly now, which would make it appear that there's more because um I think that prior to these times, I think mm -hmm. people were a little bit more closeted you know, in anything that they did that was not deemed good for society. But I I still don't think the number would be 99%. You know, you, you know the reason why is because, like, right now with, with the younger younger generation, they feel that it's kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? You're right. If, if they playing around with their friends, and they might not, that might not be their cup of tea, but just because it's the cool thing, mm -hmm. they do it. And I find that the females mm -hmm. will do it more than the males. It's just facts. I, be you know? I believe you're right about that. I don't have yeah. any statistics to prove it or disprove it, but yeah. I think that you might be right about um, girls feel a little bit um, easier. It's a little easier for them to do it, perhaps. Right. But um, I still <laughs> wouldn't say it's 99%, though. All right. I, was, I'm, I'm, I might be know. exaggerating on the number a little bit, but... You know, I think um, a very high percentage. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm gonna go with about really re being realistic about eighty percent. Eighty percent of females they experiment. You know what I'm saying? At least once. I'm not saying that they do it on a regular basis, but at least once they do it. And if they get turned out, then that's where they stay, or they may go both ways. You know what I'm saying? And you might be right. Um. Uh a good friend once told me that, you know, most people will do things and, and never, never own up to it, never say it right. because it just is not accepted in society. But nowadays, you know, the, the young girls, even the young boys, they're more open to each other. They're more open to, you know, and they really don't care what society thinks. Right. right. It's a little different now. It's not just with sex, it's with everything. So why wouldn't they be free with the sex? All right. So speaking of that, um, if um, like, what do you think about if uh, somebody's married? You know what I'm saying? Married for years, and um, they decide that you know they want to go and have a baby with a particular other female. You know what I'm saying? A shorty, and you know they do their thing, and you know what's what's uh, you know. I mean, everything is open nowadays, you, you know, in this society, that, that's what it's about. So what's your thoughts on that? As a matter of fact, hold your thoughts on that. What I want to do, I want to take a break, right? And we're going to drop this track. Um, actually, could we get the, um, could we get Pretty Black's track? Yeah. All right, so Rob is going to do that, and we're going to see if we can get Lance up in here. We're going to get Lance on the on the screen, on, on, on the phone, and we're going to hear something kind of unique. Well, it's not unique. It's just real, and um, we're going to talk about it. You know, he's going to talk about it. I got a couple of questions for him, and we're going to make it work. It's going to be quite interesting. Um, So... Taking the lyrics and the tune from Pretty Blacks. If you see it, if you see it, if you see it. Just believe All you gotta do is believe in yourself, young ass If you see it If you see it, if you dream it Just believe Good thoughts, positive energy, all you really need If you see it If you see it Yeah, yeah 
you just believe just believe in yourself yeah come on yeah this a feel good record check it i remember them days when they said i was young and dumb you play with fight you gonna get burned i made some bad choices i had to learn you gotta mind use it let me show you how we used to do it if you're playing games you're playing foul positive thoughts the only way out hey now there's no positives around be thankful you alive and not six feet underground devil all in your mind but god got us can't stop us won't stop us in case i fall i call king that's my big bro positive influence all in my circle you already know i need that we need that no negative feedbacks positive thoughts work like magic think good thoughts younger creative minds which you attract and life better when you living with purpose it's perfect in person we not hurting no bad vibes over here now let me talk to him we ain't faking your life is a reflection of your state of mind get on positive time stay on your ground what's your focus wealth health all the above to live without problems you gotta be a problem solver check my logic small frame but i feel like i'm broadly all i'm saying is it's all in your mind think about you gotta be careful what you think about yep. Sometimes you gotta if think you about what you're thinking about Just believe Just believe All you gotta do is All believe you do in yourself, young ass If you see it If you see it, if you dream it Just believe Good thoughts, positive energy, all you really need If you see it If you see it just believe just believe in yourself yeah
Yeah. By any means necessary. So, all right. So we were unable to get him. All right. Um, I guess he's having some bad reception. So what we're going to do is um, give y'all an example of what it is. And um, it's... um, kind of unique um but it's kind of crazy because when you when you really think about it it's not just my brother it's also me you know what i'm saying and then it's also my nephew you know so it it's kind of going down the line you know what i'm saying i'm seeing uh I'm seeing a trend, you know, and it's trending really like it's it's like a crazy trend. Now, when I say a trend and what I'm talking about is um, that weakness or I don't know that I, I don't like to call it a weakness, but I think that it is um, uh, or that addiction. I don't know. You know, just the fact of wanting numerous different women. You 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 feel me? Is that you? You consider that a weakness or an addiction, or what's what's your thoughts on that? I don't think the desire to have more than one woman or more than one man is a weakness or necessarily an addiction. I think when you talk about something that is addictive is something that you have very little control over. So right. um, for something to become addictive, it has to, it's a couple of factors that have to happen. It has to be something that you cannot really control. And then it has to be something that um, causes some type of harm. So I guess it's all perception in that aspect. But um but here's the thing. If if you have, let's say, four different females that you're dealing with and all the females know about each other and, you know, they're somewhat fine about it, um, is that that shouldn't be a problem. I think that's choice. Right. So when you say harm, th- this is why it's, it's very interesting because um, you have some people that has more than one woman and all the, all the women know about each other and they know about each other and based on you know what they what they know they're still rocking out and they're still happy um and on the flip side of things it's like why do you need so much again it's choice right but what i think is that a lot of times um if everybody is not open to say you know i'm gonna please you to 100 percent, then you might want to stray and have somebody please you one way and have another one please you another way and you know because um different nights different emotions you know and i guess that's where role play and come in you know and some females are not into that well, I think all females yeah. can be into whatever you, as their man, um, want them to be into. You know, it's all in how you approach the woman. It's all in, you know, the relationship that you build with that woman. Right. So the thing is that I feel like, um, well, let me put it for me. I'm going to talk about me. I, I don't know what other men or why they do what they do, but I'm going to talk about why I used to do what I do, right? Um, basically, I would, I have my lady, and I would have my main lady, right? And I'd have several other females. And, um, you know, the thing is, you the reason for that is because I just want a different flavor. You know what I mean? It's like having the same meal 
every night. Or, um, you know, if you, every night, instead of having steak, or even if you have steak every night, it gets a little crazy because then you get tired of the steak. Or, you know, in in the night for dinner, you may want to have eggs and cheese. So, you know, sometimes you just got to flip, flip it around like you flip the egg, you know. And at the end of the day, it's like um, it's... If if you can't get that, or if your partner is not willing to do that, then you know you got to go elsewhere, and you get a little different flavor, to you know because you use flavor to spice up the meal, and um you know if you're having steak, it tastes totally different than when you're having chicken. You know, or when you're having beef. You know what I mean? Um, I'm quite sure that everybody like variety of food, you know? But then again, some people only eat chicken. But they season it differently, you know? So they're getting different flavor. So variety is very important. So um, I feel that the reason why I wanted to bring up relationship is because um, I think for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the youths, I think it's important for them to for them to like feel the whole variety thing. Y- you get me? I hear you. You know, and once they understand there's a variety and they understand it's a lot of different variety out there from what they want and from what they need, then you know, they could they're able to meet their needs. So I think it's very important, different variety. All right? So we just got a, just got a text. Um, and we want, I think Lance is ready to jump on because his case is real serious. I don't want to talk about it. I know, I know what it is, but um, I want him to be here to talk about it. You know, I think it's important for that. And I'm gonna tell you, y'all, um, kind of bear with him because that it takes a lot of guts to kind of talk about a situation like this that we're gonna be talking about because it's present, it's fresh, it's like a wound that's open, and you want to open it up even more because you want to see or you want to show. You know what I'm saying? You want to show people that oh, there's a wound. You know what I'm saying? So I think it takes a lot of courage for him to do this, what he's about to do. And just for the, just to give y'all a viewpoint of what he's going through, you know what I mean? It takes a lot of courage for him to do that. So, you know, kind of bear with him and um, show him some love. You know what I'm saying? Because it's important. It's important. It's real. That yeah, We're talking about things that, he, he's going to talk about what's happening right now. You know, and um, so we're going to try to get at him. I want to um, give a promo of my book. The book is coming up. So we tr- shot a trailer of a short film. You could check this out on YouTube, too. But um, we're going to play that right now. And um, and then we're going to come back with um, with Lance. Yeah. Oh 
Oh yeah. So so check it. We um Lance's phone is having some technical difficulties. So um we're gonna get at him in a minute. Um and in the meantime <clears throat> to basically what we were summing up. Uh we were summing up about the whole well, we were talking about, you know, is it okay? You know, is it okay? Right. Is it a negative? Is it an addiction? Um, Jimmy is saying that, you know, uh, you put it in that content, right? But what about it? If a woman feels like that, what is wrong with it? Him and Judith are having kind of a conversation. And um, I think that she's talking about, women and men can equally kind of do the same types of things. So I think they're having a conversation like that, okay. which I think that, you know, society does give us a double standard, but I believe that it's happening on both sides. I think that might be what Judith is saying. I'm not sure it's happening on both sides. Right. And look, we deal with facts. There's a lot of things that should be, it should be this way or it should be that way. But at the end of the day, we deal with facts. We get our facts straight, and based on the facts, that's just how we roll. You know what I mean? So if the facts are that it's okay for men to have, you know, different amounts of sex partners, then that's what it is. If it's not okay for the females to do that, then it's not. It's just... That's the reality of it. We got to call a spade a spade. We can't say what should be or what could be or it's better we say what is. Because it is what it is. So we have Lance trying to call in right now. So um, bear with us a little bit. We're going to get the audio in and um, get that going. Because like I say, it's going to be very interesting. So, Lance, you are live. Well, we got disconnected over here, so we, we getting it right, you know. Bear with us, bear with us. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming together. But I think this is interesting. Judith is saying there's no rules to this. I think that that's true, Judith. I think that um, people make their own rules based upon what's good for their own lives. Hello? All right, so... Hello? So we got Lance. Lance, you are live right now on Holla at Me. Holla at Me. All right. So um, thanks for calling. Thanks for coming in. You know, we appreciate yeah, good that. Good evening. Yeah. Um, you know, um, so the audience, everybody's been waiting to hear you, to hear your voice. Um, I got a few questions for you. And, you know, first thing I want to say is that I appreciate the fact that you can you you you're willing to be open so that everyone could learn something from this and um I don't know we were saying that I I know I'm not the expert on relationships Andrew's saying she's not the expert we got Rob over here he say he's not the expert so I don't know you might be the expert so um I got some questions I'm not no expert but um I'm living <laughs> it so so that's the reality that's what's real. Yeah, that's reality. It's my reality, yes. That's, that's what it is. So, I mean, so basically, right now, um, is it that right now you just want more than one woman? Or is it that, you know, is you just want one? Uh, what? Uh, how, how, how did that work out? Or wh where are you at with that? Well... Like I said, it started, you know, as a, you know, curiosity, you know, always, you know, I hear a lot of people always talking about it. So, you know, I just figure, you know, let me go try it. And um, I guess I get all caught up. Back then, I guess I wanted more than one woman. But today, I guess I'll, 
I'd settle just for one. You would settle just for one. So, so here's yeah. the thing. As far as anything, you're married. Yes. Two kids. Two kids. With your wife. And yes. And right now, um, your wife is um, I I know her, great lady, um, and I know your kids. Obviously, it's um, beautiful family, but um, you went to experiment, and what happened when you went out there and experiment? I guess I got caught up with a whole lot of stuff. You know, stuff I never expect what's going to happen. What, what, all right, all right. When when you say stuff you never thought would, that would happen, what exactly do you mean by that? Like, what 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 are you referring to? Like, what what stuff that? What what do you mean? You know, like you might have you know people probably catch a feeling. I probably had a little feeling too. You know, uh, yeah. People always gonna always catch some some kind of feeling. You know, something they're not doing at home, but you know, this other person do a lot of different stuff, and you know. And you know, just sneaking out, sneaking around, you know, it's it's kind of was a true to me. Oh, so you enjoy the but, sneaking around part, and um, that that would that I guess that became like a high, right? That that was that was like yeah, another that became high. like a high. Yeah, yeah it was a lot of high. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so once you start sneaking around and all of that, did did you end up um, like having another family? Uh, Getting another woman pregnant. Yeah, I, or... yeah, I got another woman pregnant. Yeah, you know, nice, you know, nice baby. You know, nice lady too. Okay, yeah, wonderful. Yeah. You know, she didn't, she didn't deserve to get caught up in all this. You know, okay, because she had no idea what's going on because I also was lying to her. Oh, so you? I was so much. I had to become a practical lot of liar. You know, okay. I had to be a, a good liar. I hate to use that word, but, you know, you have to try to remember everything you said from before, you know. You have to be, like, always making up stories, all kind of stuff. All right. So at this point, um, every, you know, both ladies know about each other, right? And, you know, uh, you, yes. you, you have your family, you're taking care of your kids on both sides. and yes. And you're still living the life on both sides, right? Uh, Meaning, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, <laughs> so basically, you're taking care. You, you have a daughter with a young lady, and you have two sons with your wife. Yes, yes, sir. Right. So, um, you're taking care of your kids, um, or three yes. kids. Yes. One on one side and two on the other side. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, good. So let me ask you a question. Does this affect the kids? Like, the fact that you, you back and forth, because, I mean, at this point now, everybody knows what it is, right? Um, yeah. Everybody knows what it is. The kids know, your wife know, your um, lady know. Um, and obviously, I get guess you catch feelings and the other young lady catch feelings. So... It's like a, a mutual feeling thing anyway um, for both you and the lady. Now, your wife, um, what's, like, how do you feel with her? Because now it's like, are, are you going to to one side or are you kind of staying in between? I'm, I guess I got caught up because, you know, the wife's doing her thing too, you know? Oh. You know, she have her own... She's living her own life. She have her own guy too, you know, doing her thing too. So. All right, but how did that make you feel though? Did 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 that like kind of make you feel away, or did is is? Because I mean, I know you felt the way. I don't know if you want to admit it or not. Um, but because we were talking about double standard, like the male shouldn't do what the female is doing. So now, basically, you did to her one way and now yeah, I mean uh, you know she's she's living a life so she's saying okay you going out there I'm gonna go out there and, um you know I was saying that you know society look at that as a no-no but at the end of the day it's fair 
uh, I mean, right, it's there. But you know, um, also my, I'm not really mad. I, I think she should have her own way. She should experience it too, because you know, I have, I don't really have a problem with that. You know, it's, I think it's you know, like what I did, I need to get it back too. You know, I was doing it for a couple of years, so. You know, why should I get mad at her having her fun too? See? At the end of the day, you know, you know, it is what it is. You're right. You call it double standards, but I, I think it's, you know, payback, you know? Okay. But here's, here's where I kind of think that it's a little like on the, on the deep end. How about the kids? Like, um, like how, does it affect the kid, or do you think it affect the kids, or are the kids? Oh, definitely. Being... Yeah, they are affected. You and... know, they always talk to me. Um, what are you doing there? The little one, he's, you know, I don't know. He's he's a smart, you know, young, you know, he's he's so smart. You know, sometimes giving me advice. You know, <laughs> you know, just the other day he told me he says, you know, you know, you know, mommy is happy. You know, if if you're not gonna make mommy happy, maybe you should just move out, get out of the way, and make the other guy take care of her like she's supposed to be taken care. Wow, and that's coming from like a nine year old. Now he's like ten year old now. You know, right? But just had a that's birthday. why he told me, tell me all kind of wise stuff. I'm like, wow, I, I can't believe a nine year old at the time giving, you know, telling me stuff like that. But you're right, it do affect the kids, especially the older ones, because so he used to see us always together. But I guess, you know, you're learning to deal with it. All right, so let, let me ask you a question because our time is kind of is, is cutting a little short. Yeah. Um, do you find this as a, is, is, it, is this just a one-time thing or is it an addiction? Is it a weakness? Is this something that you could stop at a drop of a dime? Like whichever side that you go to, um, actually, which side are you going to, take sides or I guess um, I wouldn't say I'm on no sides right now because everybody <laughs> doing their thing if you know what I mean so okay. that's all I'm gonna say all right. I'm, I'm out there I'm done right now I'm just focused on, on you know taking care of the, my kids and you know I'm, I'm done with that because you're right I could turn it off because I'm, I don't feel that excitement no more because everybody know about each other so so oh. no reason to do it no more no oh, but, more. It's kind of, yeah. So let me ask you a question. So that excitement was when you were sneaking around. So the fact that it's all yeah. in the open is not exciting anymore. So when you nah. go, when you move on, do you think that you're going to want that excitement again? So that way, what I'm saying is like you move on to a, a new female um, and are you gonna want that excitement? Are you gonna want to say, you know what, oh, man, I, I need to, I, I, I need some some adrenaline rush, and you're gonna go out there and get get another woman and do the same thing, um, or no? I would say no. It's not the same. It's like you know, you do it for so long, and you know, it's not thrill no more. You know, you know, it took me a while to see, realize. Ain't no woman different from the other woman. They all have the same thing. Okay. You know, likewise with men, I would think a woman would say the same thing. Ain't no other man different from another man. And that's why I come up with it. Yeah. They're all the same. Well, I'm going to disagree with that because I tell you, um, yeah. some of the times with women, I, some woman is like so energetic and do some things that's, um, you know, acrobatics and... Um, other women is just you know they just you know they can't you know they it's it's so you know it's um it's the reality so i don't think that every woman is the same i think that some woman performs a lot better and some women you, know, you enjoy them a lot more because some women just don't want to go that extra mile um so um my thing though is that with the kids how are you gonna because right right now there's a there's an issue, and the issue is going to be with the kids. I think with the adults, the adults could cope, you know, because they we have all coping mechanism, and we only got like five minutes left. So, actually, um, any could do you have a last comment to make, 
and then I'm gonna sum it up after that. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, I guess for right now we just have to do our co-parent, you know, and hopefully everything, you know, you know, we could be better parents, you know, separate, but you know, it's it's all good. I'll do it working together with both females right now. Okay, okay. So, so that's all right. I I thank you for calling in. I'm gonna talk yeah. to you a little later, and I'm gonna see you tomorrow anyway. But um, yeah. Thanks for calling in. I appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna talk to you a little later. We're gonna disconnect right. from you. Um, so thanks for calling in. Um, all right. Good night. Yeah. All right. Good night. So, right now, um, his situation is um is 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 it's a little more than we even heard but that's what it is in a nutshell and um i see the 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 big problem is i guess with the kids um because the kids are being affected and because they're being affected that's where the issue comes in I think if it was just the adults, the adults, I think they could work it out. Actually, they all three could get together and have some fun too. Um, I'm not too sure if that would happen just because of maybe ego. Um, but I feel that, you know, if you love a person, you should be able to do whatever it takes to make them happy. And if that's something that's gonna make things, make them happy, why not? You agree? You disagree? Uh, see you. No, I think that you know most women would do what it takes to make their man happy. I'm not sure if most women would go that route, but they right. might. You know, okay. it depends on how they feel about the man. Okay, it's all about how the man makes her feel. All right. So, on on closing, um, we only got about two minutes. Um, what I would like to say is that. A woman actually can make you, and a woman could break you. Um, I look at a woman as um, as a beautiful thing. Um, they're beautiful to look at. They're beautiful to touch, to smell. Um, they really work out all your five senses, and I think it's a beautiful thing. Um, and Right now, I feel like the key to females is actually, and the male, is actually to keep it interesting and to keep it, keep it like, um, it's got to be fresh. So meaning, I feel for the females and the males who's been together for X amount of years, and if they are able to stay fresh, it's important. Because that's what keep the man from going other places. Fresh meaning always trying new things, always being spontaneous, always be willing to say, "Oh, you know what? Hey, I want a blondie. I want a short haircut girl. I want this. I want that. I want one that's gonna spin around the pole, do flips." You know, if that's what your man want. I think it's important for you to do whatever he wants, and vice versa. The male got to do the same thing for the female. And um, I think that's what keeps things healthy. And health comes with emotionally, physically, and mentally. You know, so um, that's the thing. I feel like it's very important to keep it going and keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. And also, if kids are involved, always keep them in the consideration because they're the number one they're the number one that's actually gonna either you know make it be detrimental or make it be okay it's a walk in the park move on because the kids in their mind their mental is what gets screwed up you know what i'm saying so if there's no kids involved it's all good but when there's kids involved it's like it's detrimental so that's what it is y'all Sandra, you want to say good night? Good night. Big Rob. All right. And 
that's that's all we got for y'all next week we got some interesting stuff stay tuned all right